to when I when I think back to the private members bill I could feel a united front moving forward an actual deliberate move by diaspora Belizeans coming together and saying this is our time this is an important exi existential threat we want to have a say and I felt that that momentum picked up a lot of steam um, both in Belize and here in the diaspora and I don't know if it is because the bill did not succeed why we felt that we could not continue that push but I do feel as though there has been a withdrawal uh, as brother Nuri put it uh, of feeling sidelined and, and it's totally justified in having that feeling and when you ask me why would politicians on a whole not want to have the diaspora have a say. And again, I'm speaking in general, PUP, UDP, PNP, what have you. It perhaps has to do with the fact that one, going back to the original point, there is not that united push. And two, there is a lot of uncertainty. Um, I was discussing with Aria before we came in the room, how many Belizeans do we have? And Aria mentioned it was probably around 100,000. And somebody came and chimed in and said, no, it's more like 225,000. And so that's a huge, huge disparity. And so I think we have to, we really have to do some um, research and getting to the bottom and, and registering all our diaspora Belizeans in a database so that we can go, whenever, whether it is another private member's bill, whether the government takes an initiative, to the National Assembly, a motion, but we have to have the data. That, that is the first step, having the data to know how many Belizeans uh, are out there in the diaspora, not just in the United States, States but all across the world. Um, and then the creation of events like this. The, 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 this is an excellent movement in and of itself, right here. This is advocacy like what Brother Nuri said. This is advocacy, and these are the types of things that then lend to further conversations, uh, further lobbying, um, and this is where the voices start to get registered at home. And so I, I would hope that this push uh, for political rights and more political say can continue with a united diaspora. Um, I know that the members of our uh, political administration are willing to listen um, and, I, and again, I think we have to get to the bottom of, of the numbers and, and move from there.